Hello, Bob Shannon. It's November 5th. We've just had an election. I'd like to uh, congratulate Brad Miller on his win. And uh, that sort of brings up the rail trail issue again. And congratulations to Bob Heath as well uh, in the, his district. What I'm thinking here is that I've done a couple videos already on the Columbia Plateau uh, rail trail. Now that is 130 miles long. It's not completed yet. There are about 10 miles of it paved and there's about 20 to 30 miles of it that are still gravel and passable. I'm not uh, real familiar with the whole trail. Uh, and I'm only w able to walk maybe a mile or two. I'm going to take my bike out there and do some more. But um, I will give you specific addresses um, in the notes section here uh, on how to uh, get to that uh, rail trail uh, uh, video on YouTube. And uh, there are a couple sites on the internet. Now, this is quite the place. As far as getting back into nature, when I'm walking along the rail trail from uh, Cheney Plaza Road on out towards Amber Lake, which is about 20 miles, it is completely open. It's just unbelievable. These are scab lands, the dried, there's 27 different varieties of rare grass. And you just don't see a whole lot of people. You see a, a few joggers, uh, a few uh, mountain bikes. Um, a couple weeks ago I saw some horses and that's about it. I can tell you this, if there were off-road vehicles on that trail, it would not be the same at all. It would definitely be a different thing. Right now it's well used and uh, people come from out of the state to actually hike that uh, trail or at least parts of it because they're crossing uh, part of the area where the Nez Perce Indians lived and uh, there's a lot of rich history in there, and there are a lot of uh, four-legged mammals, and uh, I guess, uh, you know, the coyote's about the worst. You'll, you, you might see a cougar. Uh, I don't think so. I haven't heard of any, and uh, but I imagine carrying some pepper spray might work. So, again, uh, congratulations, and uh, it certainly is a big change in America, and it appears Gregoire won, and uh, uh, as Don Longfellow would say, well, that's my governor. <laughs> no. But, uh, doggone Rossi, he seems a little ticked off about it. I don't know. You know, there's just, uh, just another story to that I don't understand. So, and then, of course, the whole world's changed because of the Obama uh, deal. And, uh, well, the proof is, uh, proof is in the pudding. That's what they say. So we'll see what happens, won't we? And uh, maybe we'll all have to eat our words uh, later on. So hoping to uh, see some folks again, hoping to get up there and visit Bob Whitaker and, uh, and uh, the Longfellows and uh, maybe even stop uh, in there and see uh, Paul Trondvig <laughs> at Wolfgang's. Uh, he sure needs somebody to talk to. Okay, we'll talk at you again. This will be uh, the midweek update here and uh, we'll talk at you again on the weekend. Bob Shannon, bobshannon.org.